Hello, this is Ernie, and I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library. And for today's Tech Tuesday, I'm going to show you a little bit how to use the Pet Finder app. Uh, it's available on Android and on iOS. And right now, springtime, uh, it's a big time for kittens, puppies being born. Uh, it's referred to as kitten season right now, and so there's going to be a ton of uh, pets, animals up for adoption, and so if you've been thinking about it or you're looking to add to uh, the brood you already have, uh, now's a good time to kind of take a look. So you can just download the Pet Finder app uh, from the App Store uh, right there, the very last one, the PF icon is the one you're looking for. And once you open it up, uh, it's just going to kind of bring, it's going to ask you a few things at first just as far as notifications, and then it's just going to bring you straight to, straight to the the animals. So at the very top you're going to kind of see what the new newer ones are and this is done by location so it knows that I am in Lexington uh, from my location uh, GPS on my, my iPad so it knows where I'm at and it's showing me the new new uh, animals that have been added to Pet Finder that are near my location. Uh, but down here is where you kind of can start looking for uh, specific animals that you're looking for or uh, kind of if you have something on your mind. So you can actually just search here. Uh, you can actually search by, uh, you know, breed or just cats or, or whatever. But you can also, down below that, uh, it just has dog, cat, and more. And that's, you know, if you're looking for birds or uh, anything else that, that you might want. So if we go ahead and just tap cat here, it's going to show the cats uh, in my current location, which, like I said, is... Lexington and it's good within a hundred miles. You can also uh, narrow it down by breed, uh, age, size. There's, there's a whole bunch of different uh, options that you can put in, in in case you're looking for something specific if you want a younger cat or if you're looking for an older cat that's just kind of chill that you just kind of want to keep around because kittens can be a little bit much so sometimes you might want a little older cat just to kind of hang out with. So These are the, the newest ones that have been added. And if you see, you can kind of swipe through. Most of them have a few different pictures. And these are usually put up by the fosters uh, or the rescue that is keeping the cats. Uh, most of the time when they have them and they're, they're up and ready for adoption, they'll just simply put their pictures and information up on Pet Finder uh, as another avenue for people to find them and adopt them. So let's say that uh, we get down to Liana. This is a pretty cute... Uh, here. So if you just tap on it here, it'll kind of give you more of the info. So she's a pretty big girl, 12, 16 pounds, uh, adult, three to eight years. She looks about four or five. So, uh, and it kind of tells you more about where they're at. Uh, here you can also hit ask about Liana and you could send some uh, questions in about them. It's, depending on who puts them up, it'll put more info about their temperament. Uh, especially if it's a foster, they can kind of tell you what the the cat's like, if they're kind of relaxed. Like this one has a whole lot more about Winston. So, uh, you know, it looks like he's about one year old, uh, and it, it talks about what they've been through as far as vetting and everything like that. So this is a good way to kind of sit and look through a bunch of uh, animals that are up for adoption. Um, lots of times, especially if you're looking for an animal, Please think about adoption first. There's a lot of these animals that just need a place, need a home, uh, and they're they're just kind of there waiting. So, uh, if that's what you're you're looking to add someone uh, to your family, uh, this is a definitely a good way to do it. And Pet Finder is more of just kind of an aggregate where, like I said, lots of different humane societies, rescues put their animals out, just kind of a uh, uh, to let everybody know what's kind of available around in your area. So that's pretty much the basics of this app. It's it's super simple as as far as just looking through uh, what uh, is available for you to to go and uh, adopt. Here you can even get dandelion if that that's something <laughs> that's one that interests you. I have to say that's pretty cute. Uh, but they also have some things you can favorite. Uh, if there's some pets that you're looking at, sometimes you're you're interested in a pet, but you're not sure right at that moment whether or not you're ready. So you can favorite it and then come back and look later. Maybe you'll say if if you know if dandelion wasn't adopted within 
three weeks, you'll come back and, and take a real serious look at it. So you can hit the uh, and favorite it to make sure that you can go back and look at it later. Uh, and they also have some coupons every now and then uh, just for different things um, for your animals. And they also just have some news and, and, and stuff about different breeds. So main thing about the app is just for looking for adoptable animals in your area. And uh, right now, like I said, there's going to be a lot more available. So if you've been thinking about taking a new new animal home this is definitely a good place to look for and again adopt don't shop and i hope that this helped helped everybody out thanks